comes. Now observe the power of the flow. See how the boats move. Oh, I see it. That's amazing. Oh. Look, the water is spilling everywhere. <laughs> You've caused a flood in this tiny river, Momo. <sighs> what is a flood, Professor Coco? Flood is a natural disaster. Let me tell you about it. Time to Coco Dive. Many of you might think that floods are just too much water everywhere, but it's much more than that. A flood is when a dry land suddenly gets submerged under water, sometimes slowly, sometimes in the blink of an eye. And believe me, floods can be very powerful. They can sweep away cars, houses, and even knock people off their feet. Now, why do floods happen? Well, there are many reasons. Heavy rain, rivers getting too full, melting snow, broken dams, or even big storms like hurricanes. Sometimes, when the ground is already full of water, it can't soak up any more. So the water just keeps rising and rising. Scientists say there are three main types of floods. First is the slow onset flood. This one happens slowly when rivers or lakes spill over. It can last for days or even weeks. It looks calm, but it can still damage farms and homes. Next, we have the rapid onset flood. This one comes faster, maybe in a day or two. It gives people a little time to move to safety, but it can still destroy roads and buildings. And the most dangerous one, flash floods. These come super fast, in just a few hours or even minutes. Boom! Water everywhere before you even know it! That's why flash floods are the scariest kind. Now, you might wonder, can we stop floods? Well, not completely, but planting more trees is one of the best ways to reduce the risk. You see, tree roots dig deep into the soil. Holding it together, they create little gaps in the ground that allow water to soak in instead of rushing away. That means less erosion, less flooding, and a happier planet. But floods are not just about water. They cause massive damage too. Homes, roads, bridges, all can be destroyed in hours. And dirty flood water can carry bacteria and waste, making people sick. Okay, That's why it's important to be list. prepared. Good job, sweetie. So what should you do if there's a flood warning? First, stay calm and listen to the news or weather reports on TV, radio or your phone. Keep an emergency kit ready. First aid, food, bottled water, flashlight, extra batteries and important documents in a waterproof bag. And if local authorities tell you to evacuate, do it right away. Move to higher ground or the upper floors of your home. Never walk or play in flood water. It might look fun, but it's dangerous. It could be carrying germs, sharp objects, or even hidden electric wires. Always stay with your family and wait for officials to declare it safe before returning home. Once the water goes down, don't rush inside right away. Let adults check for safety first. And when everything's dry, help clean up and put things back together. Floods are a part of nature's power. Sometimes scary, sometimes unstoppable. But when we understand how they work, we can stay safe and even help protect our planet. Remember, knowledge is power. And a little awareness can save many lives. Today you gotta know about flood, little fellas. See you in the next video. That's all for today. Coco out. Mm -hmm.